IU women's basketball team finished the 2009-2010 season with a disappointing 14-16 record, denying the Hoosiers a postseason tournament for the first time in Coach Felicia Leggett Jack's tenure. This season, however, the team returns one of the best guard duos in the Big Ten Conference, Whitney Lindsay and Jory Davis, who returns to the Hoosiers as the conference's third highest scorer, averaging 16.7 points per game. Jory Davis has really emerged as a star in the Big Ten Conference, and she is now going to kind of be the alpha on this team. And this year, you know, she's going to get to take the reins. This is going to be her basketball team, and she's going to be somebody who's going to excite a lot of fans. But she's not the only one who will gear up this team. Coach Leggett Jack could use only one word when describing her backcourt talent. Fast. <laughs> and I think that, you know, as a coach, I got to kind of let them go. I got to let them become all that they can become. I think Lil Whitney might be the fastest point guard in our conference. And when she runs like that, Jory kind of seems to follow her. And so I think that uh, if we can extend the court a little bit defensively. I think that we can push the ball a little bit more because I think those two young ladies like to play the game fast. But the difference this year is going to be the other 10 ladies speeding down the court with these seniors. Uh, you gotta, you got to keep in mind Sasha Chaplin hasn't been healthy for two years, and she's only a sophomore. Uh, and uh, She's an inside force that we haven't had since uh, Whitney Thomas and, and Amber Jackson graduated. And so once she continues to stay out there and be a little bit more healthy, I think you got to look at her. Our, our Hoosier uh, connection is Alani Sinclair. She's going to be a tremendous asset to us uh, moving forward in the future. Her jump shot is unbelievable. Once we get that footwork done a little bit, I think it's going to be unbelievable for her. Another veteran roaming Branch McCracken court in 2010 will be Danielsa City Anduhar, the breakout player of the 2009-2010 season. What she was able to do from her freshman year to her sophomore year was just remarkable. She was unrecognizable as a player. And she was thrown right into the fire. She had to play 30 minutes a game. And she was able to hold her own both defensively and offensively. I think gained a lot of confidence. She's in the best shape of her career and I think she's going to be a force to be reckoned with. Anduar has no doubt developed those skills through many hours of practice. Practice that now takes place at their new state-of-the-art facility, Cook Hall. For Jory Davis, a notorious gym rat, it's become her second home. It's, it's everything, you know, a Division I athlete would want. You have um, the court all day, every day, no matter what, coming at 1 a.m. Um, we have our locker room, which is basically a, a, an apartment. I mean, we can basically live in there, you know, so um, we have flat screen TVs, we have video review, we have our own weight room, training room, I mean, it's top notch. Not many athletes get the opportunity to have what we have, so um, I'm happy to be, you know, a Hoosier and to get cook -all. New players on the squad are happy to be Hoosiers as well. There are three players on the roster, two of them freshmen, who have led their high school teams to the state championship. With a mix of talented youth, veteran leadership, a passionate coach, and now Cook Hall, the disappointment will show on their Big Ten opponents.